Hi everyone, myself Survi and welcome to my podcast Who Will Cry When You Die. So today I am going to read the chapter Write a Legacy Statement by Robin Sharma. Someone once said to the author that the first 50 years of life are dedicated to building one's legitimacy and while the last 50 years are devoted to building one's legacy. How true! So many of people spend the first half of their lives striving for achievements and struggling to gain respect. Once we have this legitimacy, whether it comes in the form of prestige or material possessions, we soon realize that something is missing. We then spend the remaining years of our lives trying to do what we should have done from the beginning, create a legacy. One day, the author's father posted a poem on the door of their fridge. It had been translated from Sanskrit and it read simply, Spring has passed, summer has gone and winter is here. And the song that I meant to sing remains unsung. I have spent my days stringing and unstringing my instruments. These words were written by a man whose heart was filled with regret over a life half lived. Rather than singing the great song he was destined to sing, he spent his days preparing and waiting until things were just right before he acted. Stringing and unstringing his instruments in his words, sadly, that time never came. The time to start building your legacy is today, not 10 years from today when you think you have more time because we both know that time will never arrive. Reflect on what it is you want to create in your life and more importantly, what gift you wish to leave the world when you are no longer here. Greatness comes from beginning something that does not end with you. To help the author see his own life's legacy more clearly, he has written a personal legacy statement. While many of the corporate executives he works with have personal mission statements, few have considered scripting individual legacy statements. While the former defines your vision of what you want to create while you live, the later expresses what you aim to leave behind when you die. There is a distinction between the two. If you think about it, it will help you avoid feeling like regret, sadness and disappointment about what could have been when you reach the end of your life.